72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. That's living on cloud nine, and this night is never on vacation. Start up that mind, I'm riding in. Yo, what's going on guys, Warcrux here, and today I'm going to be showing you the sensitivities I use in the hyperspace person. So, the sensitivity in this game is way different than what most people are used to. Uh, you get away with a lot higher sensitivities, you see, just quick scoping the fuck out of these bots. So, what am I using guys? Let's hop right into it. So, when it comes to the settings in this game, uh, there's such a massive amount of aim assist. It is ridiculous. Probably the most aim assist I've ever had in any game ever. So, there's a good reason for that. So, just hit firing with the sniper. Look at it track, right? You don't really have to do much. The fingers are off the controller. I'm just going back and forth. Here's the aim assist. The reason there's so much aim assist in this game is because of all the movement. Like, imagine with no aim assist on the controller trying to track people doing this shit. On, like, every five seconds. Alright, so... Thing about the aim assist, it doesn't have a lock on. The only thing it does has a super high slow reduction. So, take a look at this. You can see the slowdown pretty, pretty substantially. Slowdowns right on their body, right where it needs to be. Very good. A quick scoping fan like me, this is definitely the game for you. <laughs> All right, so got settings my running here, fellas. So typically I play on max sensitivities, like in Call of Duty and whatnot. But in this game in particular, um, I have decided to turn down my sensitivities a little bit because it's very, very important to have good tracking. Now, if you're using something like a sniper, you're quick scoping or whatever, yeah, you naturally want your higher sensitivity so you can flick. But uh, in this game, it's very important to have pretty decent tracking. So uh, as a result, um, hit firing is really good. Uh, the reason I've turned my sensitivities down, usually I run everything max max, but the reason, you know, as I've said, that the sensitivities are as they are is because hip fire tracking is very, very good in this game. So, the vertical sensitivity, I keep around 65. Um, vertical sensitivity, you need to fine tune this as much as possible to your playstyle. This, I'd say 50% of the time, people are going to be airborne, you're going to be jumping around. It's a very super fast paced, three dimensional type of game. So, having. The perfect sensitivity is super, super important, guys. Horizontal sensitivity, I keep around 85. Now, with the, just the iron sight zooms or whatever, I'm keeping around uh, 20. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a multiplier of whatever this is. So, for example, if you move this up to the 70 or whatever, then you'll have to inadvertently move this down like 19 or 18 to kind of have the same effect. And now, when it comes to the uh, the high zoom sensitivities, this is your sniper rifle. Now, look, I'm so glad that they have two different sensitivities, so you can swap between. Okay, do I want a trick shot? Do I want to snipe? And then the other sensitivity is you know, for pretty much every other guy. I'm really glad that they uh, differentiated two. Vibration, I typically keep off. Uh, they don't really have a lot of controller presets. Um, it's very, very difficult to play this game without paddles. Um, if you don't have paddles and you, you want to really, really get good at this game, I highly suggest you get a controller paddles, whether it be a scuff or an elite controller. I'm using an elite controller right now. Uh, sprint, uh, dead zones, kind of keep it aim assist standard. Uh, you're you're fucking crazy if you turn this off. So keep this on. Uh, type of aim, hold, crouch, you know, you know whatever is pre preference. Uh, I wish there was an auto run. Uh, I don't see an auto run feature. Auto vault, always keep that on. Damage stacking. You don't want to have delay on that at all. Uh, auto close inventory uh, after wheel drop. Uh, I just have this on. It, it's just a convenience thing. World map, you can toggle this on or off, or whatever. Uh, ping options, if you want this, you play on PC, you know, whatever, with the controller. It's kind of up to you. But the main part is, is having really, really good tracking. So, let's take a ripper, for example. You have a face of a ripper. So, the hit fire. Is phenomenal. So I can sit right here and pretty much keep it on the head. So I really don't have to do anything. The recoil in this game is really good. Uh, so you can play around with the higher sensitivity. It will take a little bit of practice. Kind of figure out what you guys, how you play. Uh, there's grenade launchers. Grenade launchers typically play them at higher sensitivities, uh, but if you're one of the tracking people like me or hit scan people, um, this is the sensitivity that I use. I'm going to gameplay on the channel. I'll be live streaming today. 
So if you guys look forward to that, please support the channel again. Drop a like, subscribe. Do whatever you gotta do, comment. It really helped this channel grow. I really appreciate the support, fellas. Try to keep this short and sweet. So this is been Horcrux with the sensitivity that I, I've been using now. If I change the sensitivities at all, I will have an updated video on what I'm changing. So keep an eye out for that. Alright guys, stay safe out there. This has been Horcrux and have a good day. Deuces.